So let's do the actual blank slate. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy paste this one. Here, this test is really saying it should render spinner before loading. And here, um, we want to base it on the same kind of thing, um, which is the fixture should contain the text. Um, normally, we would actually create a CSS which contains the same sort of thing. Uh, maybe some class, we could select it by class. I don't really like selecting by classes. We should use data selectors for testing. But this is a whole entire video. Um, so I'm not going to dwell on this right now. But for now, I would like to just do the simple one. So fixture debug element dot native element dot text content. And then we should say that we should say that to contain uh, the no, no users. Okay. So this is a test when we run this one. Obviously, we're gonna fail. Yeah, so now we have to do another instance, right? And you can see where it goes to. Um, this is not an uh, optimal way of doing this. Obviously, we should leverage things like presentational components and, and so on, but this is going to come later. For the purpose of this video, I would like you to focus solely on the fact that we want to end return value of variable of an empty array. Let's just focus on this one. So how can we get it done? Because if I run this one now, even though I have that template, that template is not executed. We can see it's a bit gray here. Uh, we have to make it work. But how can we make it work in one if statement? Well, the answer is you don't. Uh, this is not about single if statement. And actually, this is called structural directive. You cannot have more than one structural directive on the same place. So what we need here is this. Let's put another container. Yeah, and in here, let's put another ng if, which will check if users dot length bigger than zero else no users. So let's call it. Yeah, mm, that should be it. Well, no, oh yeah, sorry, that's really, it's because um, right now you, you will see something very interesting. So, as I told you, like every observable needs to be subscribed to, and we don't subscribe, so it thinks the element is empty. So, what we need to do is to, so there are many ways to do it actually, um, but I'm going to choose the simplest one, because this is a very basic example. If I would be testing my states store or observable coming from services, I would probably not do it like this. But for now, I'd like you to just stick with me on the very basic ones, um, which is simply just subscribe. So we know that the get all user spy was called, and now I have to sign, I mean, uh, plug it into the observable. So I can subscribe to this one, and I don't care whether the users will return or not. Because I'm not testing the data structure here, I'm testing the actual um, template. So I have to put it here, but before I can do it, you should make sure that you can detect changes. So you trigger the change detection mechanism. All right, let's see if that works. Sure enough, it works. And just to show it to you when you look at your karma this is this is spinning is because the last one is actually the spinner that we run but i believe you can click on one of those um, i'm not sure if karma is gonna actually kick on this one now what you can do is always to just stop the server and run only this one test
it needs to start the whole karma server from the beginning so it might take a couple of seconds yeah so now the browser is loading uh, and by the way you don't need to run it in the chrome in the like a uh, full chrome you can run it oh that's actually very interesting oh yeah cool but this is what we wanted we wanted to see the information that there are no users but this time this is not the state that observer was not loaded this is the loader and then in case of no uh, like empty array it will show that message of course this is not the like the purpose of this video is not the styling of it and making it beautiful that's gonna come in the next mini series um, but for now I would like you to focus on the like logic but presentational logic um, so yeah in the next video we're gonna see how to actually handle multiple uh, users from observable so see you there